Okay, we're back on our uh, second section of the lecture today for the e-learning mode. Okay, the second session will be the introduction to queuing theory. So before this, you have learned statistic and probability. And the second one, you have learned about uh, graph theory. And then this is the third section is the introduction to queuing theory. So you have overall four, but queuing theory and network calculus is actually a combination. So you have three main majors, uh, statistic and probability. The second one is uh, graph theory. And the third one is introduction to queuing theory. Okay. So this is the overview of uh, my presentation today. First one is a queuing notation, a candle notation. How do you represent a queuing system? And the second one is a rule for all queues. And the third one, a very important law in queuing system and the basis of all queuing uh, theory is the Little's law. And the fourth one, a little bit of type of stochastic processes, uh, all the poisons uh, and exponential. Okay. This is this uh, all the basic components of a queue. You have six components. The first one is a arrival process. You have arrival process here. You have arrival process here. Meaning that okay, if you want to go like to a bank or to a what, maybe a bank. Or maybe you want to buy a bus ticket or something. So this is arrival process. The second one is a service time distribution. So arrival process, you can okay. I'll be back to arrival. arrival process. You come in individual or you can come in group or something else. Or you can uh, like take a number first. How I mean maybe they can serve two at a time. So this is arrival process. Okay, for service time distribution, you come to the bank or you come to the government's uh, office when you uh, call your number, uh, when your number is called. So you go to the desk and the process whatever task and then when you leave the desk, this is what we call a service time, service time distribution. So how long that they service you, how long does it take for you to be serviced. And the third one, number of servers. Number of servers, you can imagine, it is like uh, uh, if you go to the government counter, like bus serve, I mean, uh, government counter, if you want to renew the passport and stuff, you can see the counter. That is kind of a number of servers, okay? Number of servers. Uh, number of servers, I mean, how many people that can serve you. And the fourth one is the waiting positions. When you go to the service, whatever service center you want, you take the number from the machine and then you wait. So this is your waiting positions. I mean, if they have a three counters, they have a three servers, but the number of customers at one time is six, so they, have, they can serve three. And at the same time, three other customers have to wait until maybe one of them finish and then the fourth customer comes and go on and so on. So the five, now number five is the population size. How much get it, that can the server or, or like services that can, you know, maximum number that can service you. Let's say like hospital, I mean, let's say like it is a dental clinics. How many people that they can serve per day? Okay, they have a maximum number. I mean, after you, you come off to certain time, they might reject you or they, advise you to come tomorrow and the sixth the last one is a service discipline so i think you have heard about first come first serve first come last serve round robin and everything so this is the service discipline that determine a queuing system process so how do we represent this we have a candle notation Candle notation is how do you represent a queuing system? If you see like something like A slash S slash M slash B slash K slash S D. So this is the way you represent a queuing system or queuing process. 
For the first one, A is the arrival process. Either you arrival process, whether you come in bulk or come in group or come individually. Service time distribution, whether they can serve individually or they can serve a group first or whatever service they are prior. I mean, whatever service they prioritize. M, the number of servers they can serve or service a customer at one time. B, the number of buffer system capacities, meaning that think about bank, they can, uh, bank can, uh, I mean, uh, maybe like 20 people can sit at the bank while uh, 10 customers being served. So that is the number of buffers, another 20. 20 is the number of buffers before they get into the service. So K is a population size, maximum number they can like service at a time. And SD is a service disciplines. So again, it's like a first come, first serve and stuff. Okay, we will go one by one, starting with the arrival process. So this is the arrival process uh, condition. So you have a arrival times T1, T2, T3 up until Tj. So when you have here like okay, this is uh, this is the times. Uh, oh, sorry. So this is like a, this is like a time scale here, and this is T one, T one, T two. This is like T three, and this is like a T four. So this is arrival times at T one. The first customer arrive, T two second customer arrive, T three, T four, and so on. And you have an Intel arrival times tau j equal to a tj minus tj minus one. So this is a this is a okay t one and t two means that this is a t two. So t two minus one t two is. So you have a uh, you have a pen here, sorry. So you have a tau j, you have a tau two equal to T two minus T one. So they have Intel arrival times. So in our queuing system, we are more interested in Intel arrival times rather than arrival times. Arrival times can be deterministic or is totally can be random. So Again, we are more interested in we are more interested in the Intel arrival times, and tau j form a sequence of independent and identically distributed or IID random variables. What does this means is, like let's say you have a bank customer, customer number one arrive, got served, and customer number two comes, customer number three comes, and all these customers are independent they don't have to i mean uh, customer doesn't customer number two doesn't have to wait for customer number one to finish he can come and so on customer number three and stuff so this is the independent and okay the distributed is uh somehow how long is the i mean how long is this customer being served or something like that so independent and identically distributed is totally a random so meaning that the customer, each client or each customer doesn't depends on the previous or next customer. And identically distributed is they have been served in the same manners. They have been served 
or service in the same manner. So arrival process, they have a notation like M. M is the very famous, uh, famous uh, arrival process notation. It is memoryless or exponential. So you go for that again, what is the memoryless, memoryless exponential distribution? Or you can have E, uh, Erlang distribution. Or you can also have a hyper exponential with a parallel of memory exponential distribution. A D, deterministic constant, meaning that like a normal uh, probability, you have a very deterministic, you can determine. And then G is a general, which is valid for all distribution, doesn't care whether it's memoryless, Erlang, hyper exponential, or de de deterministic. So this is the arrival process. You have arrival time T1, T2, you have inter-arrival time tau j, which is Tj minus Tj minus 1. Or like in this case, it's like uh, tau 2 is equal to tau, T2 minus T1. This is inter-arrival times. And T, uh, tau j form a sequence of independent, meaning that the client the client doesn't uh, is independent of each other. The, I mean, the customer two doesn't depend on customer one, and so on. And identically distributed meaning that they have been served in the same manner. And the notation is M E H D N G. So. Why is a service time distribution? Again, if you have uh, this uh, customer number one, uh, customer number one, sorry, and then goes to this, this desk, and this is the person, is the person, and he, this is the, this is the customer. So, uh, sorry. I don't know why that happens. I have to find out why. So this is a customer. So the, the time it takes here, from here, T to Tx. So this is service time distribution. How does the customer being served? And then he will go out here. So this is the service time distributions. Uh, the customer comes in, being called, sit at the desk, and then being serviced, and then after that, after the process is done, so the customer goes. So this is the service time distribution. Okay. I seriously don't know why this happened, but never mind. We'll find out later. So distribution is. Again, it's the same with the arrival process. It can be a memoryless, Erlang, a hyper exponential deterministic or G, or just a general one. So, service time distribution can be uh, represented as a service center or a queue. And then, if like uh, customer number two, customer number three comes, so you they have to wait in the desk. They have to wait like in the in the. I seriously, this is getting annoying. <laughs> so you have here like customer, they have a... You have a sofa here, so they just sit here on the sofa, customer two, customer three, and so on. So this is the buffer. How many that sofa can cover? Okay, how many so far can cover? So there you have a service time distribution. Sorry for that. And now you have a service disciplines. Go back to the candle notations. You have a arrival process, service time distribution. We're still in service time distribution. So how does a discipline, how the service time distribution disciplines I mean how the customer being served? So the first, the most famous one is a first come, first serve. 
this uh, normal customer service uh, customer service mechanism first come first serve has been i mean uh, it is a general uh, service discipline for most uh, for most of the field it doesn't care about it or science or whatever or in general so first come first serve is the most famous one and most widely used the second one is a long last come first serve so it's just like a stack and one example it has been used in 911 calls okay let's say you have an emergency and then you call and then the op operator waits at the line talk with you and suddenly there is another call comes in i mean if the operator seems that your case is not emergency enough they will okay they will ask you to hold on the line and then they will serve that customer that the next caller first uh, and then they wait until they finish and then they come back to you or something and there is another one is a last come first serve with preem and resume meaning that the same like lcfs just that after they serve the next caller they finish or they feel that your and they feel that your case or your your case or your situation is uh, require much more emergency so they get will they get back to you so preem and resume resume to serve you round robin with a fixed quantum so round robin just like okay you have a, you have a set of uh, you have a set of jobs and then these jobs has a fixed quantum meaning that each jobs uh, they will only serve you like let's say three seconds after three seconds whether they whether your job is finished or not they will go to the next job three seconds regardless whether this job is finished or not if finish early they will go i mean if like in two seconds they already done with the job they will jump to the next one or if they do not finish after three seconds they will just uh stop while whatever like uh, what on whatever task they are processing now they will go to the next job and then they will go back to you so it's a round robin they will go back to you like in a cycle until you complete the jobs a small quantum processor sharing so this is more like a computer uh, a parallel computing and stuff infinite server a fixed delay uh, shortest processing time first meaning that takes an easy job for the one that can finish early so SPT shortest remaining processing time for us so you have done a couple of jobs and then you see that okay these jobs are left a little bit I mean if I spend a little bit more like uh, two minutes jobs can be done rather than this one like three I mean 20 minutes and stuff so you shortest remaining processing time first you select the job have that they have a remaining processing time i mean uh, short 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 shorter than the others shortest expected processing time first meaning that some jobs is a random mean this is a uh, you expect i mean they doesn't have a deterministic or they didn't have a specific time to finish but you are expected you expected these jobs can be finished earlier than the other so you will select sept Shortest expected remaining processing time first, just like expected processing time first, it's just a similar as some extension. Biggest in first serve, you can imagine like this is the, the real world where, where you you are a big, you are big guns, you are a very important person. I mean, uh, when you come to the queue and people see you, uh when the people see you or the I mean the customer service see you you are a very important person you are vip or something so they call you come sir come here come here so this is kind of the how do you imagine the biggest in first serve biggest in first serve so you're a big guy i mean not you're not a big guy but you're a very important person they, they will they will come you they will they will call you first and others just have to wait well, loudest voice first serve this is also true in the real world if you make a lot of complaints your voice I mean your voice are claiming your voice are really loud and you make a lot of complaints you will will first you will be served first from others 
So this is kind of a service display. Some of it I just use a real example, but of course it is more like complex than that. But you have you got the idea how this is a service display. But mostly we will use a first come first serve because this is the simplest, widely used, and make sense because you come you come first so you must be served well, unless there's a priority like uh if you go to the hospital they will prioritize the more sick people uh more emergency cases or maybe older people or infant or something so this is a service discipline okay let's say the example of mm3 let's say the notation is mm 3 to 20, fcfs so what does it mean is m is a memory less or exponential time between successive arrival is exponentially distributed independent iid so whatever customer or customer or client arrive doesn't depend on the next customer or previous customer service times are exponentially distributed so again this is uh, again it's a random uh, they have a three servers or three counters or whatever so 20 buffers meaning that three service the three servers plus 17 waiting so if uh, the person number 18 is coming they have to wait outside or something they cannot go into the system or they will just in packets if like this the buffer so the additional packets that cannot come in, they will just drop the packets. And after 20, all arriving jobs are lost. So it's just like a packet. Packet can serve you 20 packets at a time, a router. So the packet number 21 is coming. So you don't have, a bu bu your buffer capacity is limited. So we'll just drop the packets. Total of 1,500 jobs that can be serviced. So in that time, let's say uh, you in dental, in government dental clinics, you only have 1,500 jobs that can be serviced at that time. So you cannot, you cannot go more than that. If not, your service mean uh, there's a limit. 1,005, the number 1,005. So 1,501 has to come tomorrow, okay? Or the next day. And service display is first come, first serve. This is widely used again. So, but in normal uh, candle notation, only these three are mentioned. Only these three are mentioned. So the arrival rate, the, I mean the arrival process, the service time distribution, and also the number of servers. Others are just default. If they say MM3, meaning that, just if they said only M, M, 3, why? Why is that happen? So, M, M, 3, so if you have M, M, 3, meaning that your Arrivals is an exponential distributed IID. Your service times are exponentially distributed IID. And of course, you have three servers. And others are just infinite buffer capacity, infinite population size, and first come, first serve. First come, first serve disciplines. So you have here MM3 or M Okay, I seriously don't know why here So let's say they say M M M So they say they want to have M, 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 M1. So meaning that this is exponentially distributed. 
arrival process, exponency distributed, uh, time process, service time distribution, and one service. So uh, like GG1 is a general, is a general distribution, general service distribution, one service, infinity buffer capacity, infinity uh, population size, and FA. of course, in the real world, infinite buffer capacity, infinite population size is not possible. Anything you must have a, anything they must also have a limit. But just for assumption, for simplicity, you assume that this have an infinite buffer capacity and infinite population size. So, uh, the key is ASMBKSD. So, just a question. The number of servers in MM313Q is 3. Is this a correct one? If you go this, this is the arrival process, distribution time, number of servers. Number of servers is number 3. So, server is only 1, but they say the number of 3. So, this is a false. MMD330Q has 30 buffers, kind of true because B is a buffer. GG1Q has infinite population size. It's a kind of true. If you don't tell anything, if you don't tell anything, so you back to the uh, default value. DD1Q has a first come first serve displays. So this is also true. See the answer? So you have false, true, 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 true. So this is solution to question one. So exponential distributions, let's see what is this. Exponential distribution may be used to answer the following questions. How much time will elapse before an earthquake occurs in the... How much time will elapse before an earthquake occurs in a given region? This is very difficult. I mean, this, uh, the earthquake is very difficult to predict. How long do we need to wait before a customer enters a shop? I mean, you have to, you know, you have to go and collect the data for several uh, days or months. How long will it take before a call center receives the next phone call? And how long will a piece of machinery work without breaking down? So this is exponential distribution. So you can, like, use exponential distribution to answer all this. How much time? How long do we need? How long will it take before a call center receives the next phone? <coughs> and how long will a piece of machinery work without breaking down? So... You can calculate all this is calculate. I mean, all this is uh, can be calculated and can be expected. Okay, you have a probability density function PDF. What is a PDF? PDF means that you have a function, and let's say if you want to, you want to find what is the probability of value between this is a let's say this is a. This is a four. Maybe this is a three. And this is one. So if you want to find like a probability distribution function from one to three, you find the area under this one. So this is kind of a this PDF is a function here. And for exponential distribution, the function is fx is equal to one over a of their mean a times with exponential to the power of minus x over a, whatever x you have here. So if you want to find this, you have to find the area. And you want to find the area, you have to integrate. So integrate is a CDF, where you find the probability of the value will be uh, between 1 to 3. So this is a cumulative distribution function. You integrate the fx, so you have here 1 minus exponential to the power of minus x over a so you have this graph this is the probability this is just a function but this is a probability cumulative distribution function okay from x less than x or x to zero maybe x is three you want this is zero so maybe you want to find here so this is a pdf and cumulative distribution function so you have a mean A, so mean, a normal statistical mean. A variance is a A square. Coefficient of variation, standard deviation, standard deviation, 
divided by mean or equal to 1. So coefficient variation of exponential distribution is equal to 1. You can imagine that coefficient of variation is a variation between the first customer or second customer for second customer and the first customer. So how much does it difference? Okay. And it's a memoryless. Okay, the memoryless expected time to the next arrival is always A regardless of the time since its arrival. So what do you have here? So this is why exponential distribution is used in the queuing system because it has a nice property related to waiting and queuing time. So let's say for the memory loss, let's say you have a, I mean, you're waiting for a bus and the mean arrival, uh, mean, uh, mean time for arrival of each bus is maybe half an hour. And then for memory loss, if you arrive at time 29, let's say, okay, let's say the bus is 30, okay, bus, bus. So, uh, one bus per 30 minutes. Okay, one bus over 30 minutes. Let's say you arrive at time 28. You arrive at one, arrive at time 28 regardless of whenever you arrive either 28 or time 1 you still have to wait 30 minutes this is the memory loss remembering the past history does not help so thank god our bus system is not a memory loss so if you even in normal system you can I mean uh, one bus over 30 minutes is a more de deterministic meaning that if you arrive at time 28, you can expect another 2 minutes, the bus will arrive. So, so thank God, our bus system is not a memoryless, uh, ex a memoryless exponential distribution. So we are more like, our buses is more like deterministic. I hope so for the sake of our public transportation. Okay, uh, so expected time again, expected time the next arrival always a mean a regardless of the time since the last arrival so yeah this is a exponential distribution and remembering the past it does not so it, this is called a memoryless that doesn't care about the past history okay it doesn't care whether you bad or good uh, there's something else so this is a memoryless Okay, we go for the second uh, second function, the Erlang distribution. When you have uh, what is the Erlang distribution? When you have when you take many uh, memoryless server variables and you put them in series. Okay, you have a k exponential random variable or memoryless server. You put it in a series one until k. Series of K servers with exponential service time, I mean, uh, is X equal to a summation of XI, X to the power of K, where XI is exponential. So, in normal, like, okay, you have a normal distribution, each variable normal distribution. If you add it, summation of that normal distribution is still become a normal. But for exponential, when you put it into series, you try to add it, it will become Erlang distribution. It's not exponential, but it's Erlang distribution. So the PDF for Erlang distribution is fx is equal to x to k minus 1, a number of uh, exponential random variables, k, uh, exponential to the power, uh, power of x over a, and k minus 1 factorial with a to the power of k. So this is a PDF for Erlang distribution. Expected value is mean times k. Variance is a to the power of 2k. And coefficient variance is 1 to 1 divided by the square root of k. So this is Erlang distribution. It is a high, it is an exponential distribution uh, combination. Variables uh, put in series. Okay, put in series. So the keyword is a series.
Okay, we have another hyper exponential distribution denoted by H. So the variables takes I value with the property P. So this is like X. This is the parallel. Parallel. You put it in the parallel. You put it into the parallel. So X1 until XM. You have your X1 until XM. Whichever server that you see empty, you just go in, in a parallel way. XI is exponentially distributed with mean AI. Higher variance than exponential. Coefficient of variance is more than 1. So this is a distribution, but you make it into parallel. Different from Erlang distribution, take a series. That, but this one, you put it into the parallel, it's just like you go whichever like servers whichever like servers that are empty so you, you go in so this is hyper exponential distribution okay let's go to the group arrival service a box arrival service so you have m to the power of x x represent the group size the memory less come with x gx a bug arrival or service process with general intergroup time so you you can imagine that X represents group size. You come in like you come, the whole customer come with one bus or one aeroplane, chartered aeroplane. You go somewhere else. You have a, you are in group group travel or something. So you come in bulk. So examples like M to the power of X, M slash M slash one. So the first one is a single server queue. Okay, this is a single server queue. With bug poison arrivals, bug poison bug arrivals, uh, arrivals in many, and exponential service time, exponential service time, second. So this is MX, M1. M, G, X, M slash G, X, and M is poison arrival process, so they can service you in bulk. Maybe they wait, uh, they can service you two or three at one time, but M is a, uh, M is a memoryless. Uh, arrival process maybe they wait until two or three i mean if you arrive you wait another two percent and this all three of you want to serve at the same time with general service time mm service so this is m service so this is the candle notation again candle notation mostly that in our course we will learn mm one a single q server a single q server So, we go for the question two. Uh, this is just, a this is just uh, trying to test you whether you understand my you understand my lecture or not. So, the exponential distribution is denoted as what? I really hate this. Why? I don't know. I have to check why does it. If you are, you know, just tell me how. So, this one, M. Okay, distribution is then a set of parallel exponential servers. So this is a hyper. We will see that with the we, we have a correct answer. So along distribution EK with K as one is same as what is K? K equal to one Erlang. So is k equal to 1 is quotient of various 1s. Why is the quotient of variance is 1 is? Quotient of variance 1 meaning that is an exponential distribution. So a larger k is same as exponential. Ah, it's getting annoying. So you have here exponential. So is this the correct one? So M hyperexponential exponential. Uh, okay, before we go, I think we will stop at this one slide number. Slide number 18. Okay. So we'll stop at slide number 18. And then we will continue. So this is the variables of 
uh, queuing system. So see you, I think, in two weeks, I guess. Uh, and wish whoever uh, celebrate Deepavali, uh, wish you happy Deepavali and all others happy holidays. Thank you very much.